Welcome to the second class on machine input and output reasoning problems. In the previous class, we have done problems related to based on place. In the today's class, we would be talking about machine input output problems based on order of words. Now here, here is a question where you are given an input and you have a final conclusion. So if I observe the conclusion uh, closely, what I can see, the alphabetical order is decreasing. So you have T, S, R, M, F and C. The first word is decreasing. And if I look onto the steps, what I did was, I moved the first letter here, the, the biggest, that's T here. And all the same, all the remaining remain the same and they shift on their position. The next I keep T here, I move the next letter that is S here and the remaining letters I keep them as it is here. Then I have these two, I move rack here and I keep the remaining three there. Next I have these three, I move meet here and put the remaining two there. Finally I change the position of F and I bring F here and C there. So if I try to solve this, how many steps are required? It's five. Now, in input output questions, what is done is, I have this which is given. I have to understand the pattern in this question. And based on this pattern of question, what I am being asked is a set of another question and another input problem that is being given. So based on this, I have to solve this problem. Okay. And I have to answer these questions. So let's, how many steps are required? What would be the final output? What would be the step two? What would be the last but one step? So let's start solving this. Out of these, the biggest alphabet here is set. So I bring set here. I put cut, break, owl, blow, and dom as it is. In the next, I bring O here. So you have set, owl, and I put the rest here, cut, break, blow and dog. Now out of these I would bring D. So I have sit, owl, dog. Then you have cut, break and blow. So what is happening here is now break is bigger than blow. So it's already arranged in the correct order. So this is a step 1, step 2 and step 3. So with this, I get the final output that is decreasing order of the al first alphabet. So I have S, O, D, C, B, R and B, L. Now how many steps are required to solve this input problem? The answer is 3. What would be the final output? It would be set, owl, dog, cut, break and blow. What would be the step 2? This would be the step 2. What would be the last but one step? Now here, what would be the last step? Step 3. And last but one would be again this, that is step 2. So here what is asked is again about step 2. So this is a question that intentionally confuses a student. You are already asked step 2 and here what you are asked is again step 2. So that is one kind of problem. Now as we have talked about in the initial class on machine input and output, we have discussed machine input and output based on places on three criteria that is words, numbers and shapes. We would be using the same classification for problems based on order. So we already did one of the problem that's based on words. Now let's move on to a next problem that's based on numbers. So as you can see, these are the numbers given and what is asked here is increasing order of the numbers. So what I do is I bring 25 here and I keep the remaining numbers as it is. Then I have 28 and the next bigger number that's 48. And the remaining numbers as it is. Then I move 52 here and the remaining numbers as it is. But it's by chance that they are already in the correct order. So I use only 3 steps to solve this problem. Now what we did in the word was decreasing order of the alphabets. Here what we are doing is the increasing order of the numbers. Now let's move on to the problem. So here is the problem. I have to do increasing order of the numbers. So among these, the smallest is 8. So I bring 8 here. So it's 12, 56, 84, 32 and 11. Now next I bring 11. So it's 8, 11, 
Now 11, 12 comes automatically in order. So I am getting one step less. So next step I moved 11, 8, 11, 12. Then I moved 32. Then you have 56 and 84. So 56 and 84 are again in the correct order. So I required these many steps only again. So I have 1, 2 and 3 steps that are required again. The question says how many steps are required in all? So the answer is 3. What would be the final? It would be 8, 11, 12, 32, 56 and 84. This you can write even without solving the steps. Because you have seen the question. In the question there was increasing order. So you have to know the increasing order. So you know the increasing order of the numbers. So you can directly say what would be the output even without solving this machine input output problem. What would be the step 3? Now step 3 it's again confusing you. It's the same as the output step. So whenever you are asked about a step you need to solve it and see what would be the step. And finally you are asked what would be the last but two steps. Last is 3. Last but 2 is 1 and 2. So what is asked is step 1. So you have to write a step 1. That is 8, 12, 56, 84, 32 and 11. So out of the choices in the examination you have to pick up this choice. So these are the questions that are asked based on numbers. Now in bank PO, I have rarely seen a question coming up with machine input output problems based on shape. But what we will be trying to do is, we will try to introduce the concept of shape as well to give a very clear idea about the machine input output problems. So next I bring in is a problem on shapes. Now how do we judge this shape? This shape seems to be difficult. but I have a couple of shapes that are given here and I have the final step. If I closely observe the final step, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 lines here. That means it is an hectagon. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 lines here. That means it is a hexagon. Then 5 lines, so it is pentagon. 4 lines are rectangle and 3 lines that is triangle. So what is what I am doing is, in the shape, I am decreasing the number of lines to make that shape. So here you have been given some order and in the every order, I am just moving one item here and the remaining item remains as it is. Then I again move the next and so on. So how many steps are required for this problem to be solved is 4. Now let us based on this, what I am trying to do is, I am trying to decrease the number of, uh, uh, decrease the order with less number of lines that are required to make the item. Now based on this, I have this question. I have this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is a decagon. So I have a decagon, I have an octagon, pentagon, rectangle and triangle. So I, what I did in the previous was decrease the number of lines. So I would move the decagon here so I can write 10 here. Then it would be 8, 3, 4 and 5. So I am just writing the numbers rather than making the shapes to make it easy and save time. So what I am doing is I move the 10 here. Now 10 and 8 are already in order. What I need to move is 3. So I have 10, 8 then comes 5. So I have 3 and 4 here and finally I would reverse it. So it is 10, 8, 5, 4 and 3. So how many steps are required? Step 1, 2 and 3. So again you are doing this in 3 steps. So how many steps are required to solve the input? The answer would be 3. What would be the final output? It would be decagon, octagon, pentagon, rectangle and triangle. If the output is given, can we find out the input? I just have the output with me. I cannot find out the input because there can be any order of the number that can be mentioned here. So I don't know what would be the input. So the next is what would be the last step? So last step would be step 3. So if it, uh, it is asked what step would be the last step and the choices are given step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4. I would write step 3 and if it is given decagon, octagon, pentagon, rectangle and triangle I will mark that. So whatever I ask based on the choices I will have to mark that and if the output is given in this question I cannot find out the input because I don't know. Uh, I can rearrange these in any order. So that would be uh, for this it would be none of these in this case. 
Now let's move on to a problem that is based on order with numbers and words both the things together. So if I look at this problem closely what I can see is I have a given order with me. What I am doing is for numbers it's an increasing order and for letters or words it is a decreasing order. So increasing order and decreasing order and all the numbers coming at the first pos in initial position and all the words going on to the last position. And if I observe the first thing I can say we are just moving one element at a time and the remaining element we are just shifting those. So let's start based on this let's solve one of the problems. So I have this which is as an input that is given. So what is the rule I need to keep in mind? Numbers in increasing order and words in decreasing order. So let's start with numbers. So the number is 13, 46, 46, small, big, 23, 13, cry, sorry 13 is already gone. So cry, baby, 94 time. Now what I do is, I move 23, so it's 13, 23, 46, small, big, cry, baby, 91, 94, time. Now what I do is, I have 13, I have 23, I have 46, the only number left is 94 which should come here. So it would be 13, 23, 46, 94. Mm -hmm. Small, big, cry, baby and time. Now what I need to rearrange is the, I have already, I am already done with numbers in the increasing order. Now I need to do the words in the decreasing order. So T would be the biggest here. You have R, S, T. So T would come the first. So I have 13, 23, 46, 94. I have time, big, sorry time then you have a small big cry and baby now what I do is I move the cry time after that a small automatically comes so that's fine now out of these three cry would come here and big and baby would remain in the correct order so I have 13 23 46 94 time small then I move cry and big and baby already come in a correct order. So how many steps are required? If I try to mark out the step, it is step 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now the first question, how many steps are required in the input? The correct answer is 5. What would be the final output? Final output would be 13, 23, 46, 94 times small cry big and baby that I can even say without solving every step because it's not asking how many steps are required it's just asking the final output. So final output based on the passage that is given previously to me I can say this would be the order. So I can say directly what would be the final order. Now this question is important a bit tricky question. What word would be at the fifth place from right in the step 3? So first I'll move to step 3. Right is this side. I want to pick out the fifth word. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the answer here would be small. The question says what word will be at the sixth place from left in step 2? So this is my step 2. From left that means this side I am trying to pick out the sixth word. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the answer would be 6. There is This is a kind of a bit different problem that is being asked. So this was a problem that we tried to solve using both numbers and words. Now with this we cover the second part on the machine input and output problems. As I mentioned previously, this assumes to be a difficult section with so many letters and words and people feel confused in it. But this is in reality a very simple question and a very scoring section. Some of the common types is arrangement either in ascending order, arrangement in descending order, alternate words and numbers, number and words or 
words first then numbers then numbers first then words or some of a similar pattern so the finding the pattern should never be a problem in case of machine input output problems and we have discussed the all possible cases that is letter r words we have talked about numbers and also about shapes which is really a part of bank po examination so with this we cover the second session on the bank uh, machine input and output reasoning problems for bank po examination and similar examinations you can subscribe to examrace channel for all further updates till then have a good day ahead